Being frugal is not easy. It's not easy to discipline yourself to cook instead of going out to eat. It's not easy to build an emergency fund while delaying your gratification to stop yourself from buying the car you've been wanting. And I know it was a struggle for me when I first got started because I wasn't used to making money. And the moment I did start making money, I realized, wow, I can go out and buy my dream car if I wanted. I can go out and buy that bigger TV for the living room. The video games, the shoes, all these things tempted me on a daily basis because I knew that I could afford them, but I always chose not to. And I kept asking myself questions like, is it really worth it? Why am I holding on to every dollar that I make instead of treating myself to something that I actually deserve? And whenever you start to ask yourself questions like these, it's because you feel like you're sacrificing too much. You know what else? I came to the realization that not only am I sacrificing a lot, but frugal living just isn't enough. What's up, man? My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can better yourself every single day and live life on your own terms. On this channel, I talk about saving money, getting out of debt, increasing your income, and various personal growth topics, and I share my own personal stories to serve as a motivation to you. Let's get into the video. So everyone, including myself, tells you about how rewarding frugal living can be, how you can sacrifice now and buy whatever you want to later. How you can have less stress financially because you have control over your finances. And both are true. But something that doesn't get talked about enough is the fact that frugal living is not enough. I'm sure you've heard this a million times, bro. Delay gratification. Stop buying those shoes. Put as much money in your saving account every month as possible. Budget your money. But I'm here to tell you, you could do everything right and still fail. You could follow all the frugal living advice that I ever give on this channel and still be living paycheck to paycheck. Why? Because life isn't fair, bro. Because you and the guy who lives next to you make two totally different salaries. Because you can't predict when an emergency is gonna happen and how much it'll cost. Because you can't always long-term think your way out of a bad financial situation. Frugal living is not enough. But whoever tells you that, bro, you're told, save your money, budget your money, turn the lights off in your house when you're not there. Turn the water off when you're finished. Get that promotion at work. Live below your means. You're told to cut back on eating out, stay in more, lay back on the Starbucks coffees. Yet, you do all of that and you're still not where you wanna be financially. And then you find yourself saying, but I did everything right. I did what everyone told me to do. I followed all of the advice. That was me. And, and you know, this stuff is great for financial discipline. It's great for knowing how much money is going in and out every single month. It's even great for building your savings. But apply all that advice with nothing else. I mean, just purely frugal living advice by itself and let one thing go wrong. Miss one paycheck, guarantee you'll end up in a bad financial situation. Guaranteed. Let's take it a step further and let's put you in the exact situation that I was in. I saved my money, I budgeted my money, I lived below my means, and nothing went wrong. Now let's say that's you, but you wanna get out of debt because you have $40,000 of student loans to pay off. And let's say that you wanna buy your first house by the age of 25, and you're 21 right now, but you also wanna send money to your family every single month. But you also don't even have an emergency fund set up yet, and you make $60,000 per year. Answer this, bro. How fast are you gonna reach those financial goals? And that's assuming that nothing goes wrong. No injuries, no health issues, no accidents, no surgeries, no job loss, no flat tire, no nothing. Now remember, you're living on your own, you still have bills, and you only are able to fund your financial goals every other week because that's when you get paid. Bro, my point is it takes a long time to get where you wanna be financially when you're just being frugal. Because you may have a four year goal, but it's most likely gonna take you 10 to 15 years to get there by just being frugal alone. And that's with a, a, an exception. That is with somebody who is an above average person in terms of both salary and financial obligations. This person that we're describing here in this story is a, a person who has a pretty good salary and who has fairly low financial obligation. And it's still a challenge for them to get to where they want to be financially in a timely manner. So now imagine majority of the world who are in less than ideal financial circumstances and they're given the same exact message. Save your money. Budget your money. Think long term. Yet they do all that and they still come up short. And I can't help but ask myself if we could all just 
budget and save and discipline ourselves to cook instead of going out to eat and to discipline ourselves not to buy unnecessary shoes, clothes, or entertainment, then why is there such a large percentage of us who don't have $1,000 saved? Because I remember being in a pretty good financial situation and still feeling like I was struggling to put away my first few thousands of dollars, even though I was living frugally and doing everything right. I did exactly what I was told to do. I did what my parents told me to do. I did what the financial gurus told me to do. But you know what registered in my mind at that moment? I was also told to work hard, go to school, get good grades, get a good degree, get a good job, and you will be happy and fulfilled. Well, I did all that, and I was the furthest thing from happy. Same concept for living a frugal lifestyle. You're probably tired of hearing me say this by now, but I'll say it one more time just in case you didn't hear it the first three times. Frugal living is not enough. I fell into the trap of thinking that frugal living was the only answer, and I quickly learned that it wasn't. Frugal living is a good financial foundation that you base everything else on, but if you rely on just frugal living by itself, it can backfire and make your entire financial world come crashing down. In my case, my financial world was beginning to collapse because I was so frustrated at the fact that I wasn't reaching my financial goals at the pace that I would have liked to. But now that I think of it, while I was in the grind of saving every penny, if I would have missed a couple of paychecks, I would have been done. And my financial world really would have collapsed. You see what I'm saying? Following financial advice that is given to everyone as a blanket statement is not always the best way to go about things or even the right way to go about things, especially when it comes to your personal finances. I had to learn that lesson the hard way when I followed Dave Ramsey's advice that he literally gives to everyone about their finances, and that's save $1,000 and then prioritize paying off all of your debt. But when I asked myself, why are you throwing all your money at your debt when you could be building an emergency fund and paying off some of your debt at the same time? time. That's when a light bulb went off and that light bulb said you have to assess your own financial situation while you're taking the advice of someone else that is giving you financial advice because their advice might not always apply to you. At that time, that was when I assessed my financial situation and it did not make sense for me to be living on my own by myself while paying bills, only having $1,000 in my savings account while throwing the rest of my money at my debt did not make any sense at all. And that's because I knew that if I lost my job or if I had a severe emergency, which by the way, costs way more than a thousand dollars, I would have been looking sick. I would have had to rely on my parents for financial support and I would have had to move back home. And that's not cold, facts. So when that light bulb went off, so did the fact that saving my money and penny pension was an effective way to save money but it was really slow and I was focusing all in that area, but what I should have been focusing on was increasing my income to then make saving way easier and much quicker. So in my frustration, I built another legit stream of income outside of work and it brought in hundreds of dollars every single month. That's what this entire video is about and that's what I encourage you to do. I took my talent for playing the drums and I used that to teach young aspiring drummers and parents would pay an arm and a leg for that and I made $40 an hour plus tips doing that no one told me to do that bro no one advised me to do that and and what i'm saying is sometimes you have to create your own value and your own systems to bring in the results that you want in your life instead of expecting someone else's advice to work for you 100 of the time now is frugal living good enough for some individuals and some families absolutely is frugal living enough for everybody absolutely not but if you really think about it none of those answers to any of those questions matters unless you can answer this question is frugal living enough for you because when i asked myself this question the answer was no and it's not because i don't make enough income to meet my financial goals or needs but because my financial ambition requires that i do more than live frugally and that i do more than work a traditional job 
And it's that very ambition that drives me to start businesses, try out different personal finance strategies, learn about different ways to increase my income, which allows me to create as much valuable for you as possible and show you the world through my perspective and help you understand how personal growth and personal finance go hand in hand so that you can learn from my mistakes and so that you can understand my experiences so you can improve your personal life as well as your financial life by bettering yourself every single day. And I'll leave you with this. Bro, pretty much from birth, you're told, get a high paying job. Bro, go watch my video on me accepting my very first high paying job and tell me if it was a positive experience or not. The ironic thing is, right now, the world needs more perspective, not just advice. So I'm telling you to live frugally, but I'm also challenging you to do more than just that. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.